we'll see how that works for him. Uh, the Kraken shell, there's nothing that's really going to be able to be beneficial from a Kraken shell for him. So um, if he is in the mid, eh, it's going to be rough. I don't know why there are two people that are green. That's a little bit interesting. Um, but we will jump into this game momentarily here. Just waiting for all of Elite Wolves to pick up their heroes. So we'll actually see M got on the tusk this time around. Oh man, Rick, there's only 10 seconds left to pick a hero. Five seconds, Morty. It'll be fine. Uh, still waiting for a few more players. There's Basuko. Picking up everybody here. Let me throw on the old overlay of Reno. And we will jump into this game. Hopefully my shit's working. Why aren't they doing anything? They're just standing around. Relax, Morty. Alright, so we're off to a nice early start here. Elite Wolves just going to barrel right down this bottom lane uh, with the nice inverse arrow. We'll see what exactly their plan is here. We see the standard treant running in front of these T-Show players. So that Treant will spot out all of Elite Wolves, so the rest of T-Show is just going to kind of back up here. They're not going to get caught out by this one. Uh, won't see any blind arrows coming out, and we'll see the smoke come through. They might be able to catch out the Disruptor if they come right through here. Uh, I think they have the vision on. There we go. So we're going to see a five-man snowball into the Disruptor. This is going to be one dead Disruptor here. They can throw out the short-range arrow if they think they need it. One last right-click from the Outworld Devourer. We'll finish off the Disruptor. So a nice early first blood going towards this OD. Uh, that'll get him a nice early start here. And they'll be able to secure the bottom ruin after that in a couple seconds. They might be going for another kill here. Uh, they're kind of all running around in a group. We'll see the standard 130 gold minus that first blood gold going the way of Elite Wolves after that one. And then we actually see Elite Wolves secure both ruins as they kind of scared all of Tisho back. So an amazing start for Elite Wolves in the early game here. Uh, that should really help Van out in this mid lane. Already has the Null Tally ready to go. Another 450 gold. He's just a little short of that bottle. Quick pause coming up from Elite Wolves. We'll use that time to run through the players here. So we see Smash playing this Darkseer. Uh, we'll have M God playing the Tusk. We have Van playing the Outworld Devourer. On this Marana, currently in the jungle, we have Masuko. And then IWO playing the Tidehunter up here in the off lane. Or sorry, the safe lane. Don't know where I got that lane from. On the side of Tisho, we have Greg playing the Lycan. We have uh, C4T playing the Disruptor. That's a friggin' mouthful of a name. And we have nobody playing this Earthshaker. Pretty standard name there. And then we have Lorano playing the Zeus. And finally, on this Nature's Prophet, we have Tavo. So it looks like Tisho is trying to make a play on to Smash here. Unfortunately, M God's in the area. He'll be able to provide plenty of assistance. We see Musuko off on the top lane here, trying to come in onto the Zeus in the back. Uh, probably going to be pretty hard to land an arrow on the Zeus. He's going to be playing pretty safely in the woods for right now. But they could easily set up an arrow into an astral. Or probably an astral into an arrow would be more. Uh, ideal for him. They kind of trap Smash back a little bit there, but he's got a double ion shell in this area. Greg's just going to take a lot of damage from this. M God moving in has the snowball ready to go. They'll pop the snowball onto the disruptor. Uh, they'll work him down. He has the glimpse ready to go. Doesn't look like they want to use it. And he'll get body blocked by his own creeps. And there's the dead disruptor going the way of Smash. And then in the mid lane, we see Musuko wrapped around on the Zeus, able to pick off uh, the Zeus with the help of Van there. 
up in the top lane, we see IWO just kind of harassing Octavo the best he can on this Nature's Prophet. Uh, he's going to go for plenty of levels in that Anchor Smash, have a pretty easy time in this lane. These treats aren't really going to do that much damage to him. He needs a couple more levels in that Kraken Shell to really just be immune to physical damage. But for the most part, he's going to have a pretty good time. Smash and M-God diving onto Greg again here. They'll snowball into Greg. I have one Ion Shell running. One last right click there. We'll finish off the Lycan. Looks like they want to turn around for nobody here. But they only have a couple creeps left. So they're going to have to back that one up. Musuko in the back lines here. Ready for the arrow. Uh, has way too many creeps in the way right now though. Uh, as soon as they get the vision here. Arcane Boots come out for the Darkseer. And they'll be ready for another kill. On to the Lycan or the Earthshaker. Looks like Mizuko is just going to hide in the trees for right now. Nobody playing fairly safely there. Uh, Greg almost spotted out by Mizuko there. Looks like he pinged out uh, Mizuko. They probably saw him. Lycan's going to head over towards that jungle. Doesn't have an Iron Talon just yet, but he's pretty close to that if that's in fact what he wants to go. Smash his creep cutting right now. Uh, trying to harass as much as possible. We see M-God and Mizuko running down Greg. Uh, we'll see if Van wants to rotate over or if they just want to rotate into... Uh, Lorano here on the Zeus in the mid lane. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Last hit so far, our world of our Dark Seer, Nature's Prophet. You know, all pretty much tied. No real surprise there. Uh, this Lycan is actually doing fairly well at 19 last hits. Uh, he's moved into the jungle, so that's a little bit artificially inflated for right now. Uh, does have a death on him, so not having the grace of games, but it's definitely not terrible. I'll uh, see Van pick up a double bounty rune there, just gonna complete his power treads. Up in the top lane, C4T just trying to uh, harass IWO as much as possible, going for levels in that Thunder Strike, just get a little bit of magic damage over onto that Tide Hunter. M God still in the area on the bottom lane. They're hoping somebody shows up here. Uh, if that Earthshaker shows himself, he will die. Looks like Smash is playing it a little bit safely for right now. Has that Soul Ring coming in. Then he'll have plenty of mana to kind of go for these crazier dives here. M God creep cutting a little bit, waiting for Smash to arrive. There's the completed Soul Ring. Another set of Tangos. Uh, looks like they're setting up to creep cut quite a bit here. Uh, we see Greg moving back in. So they should know nobody's stuck here. We'll see a TP coming in from the Nature's Pro oh, actually C4T there. Uh, quick snowball over to C4T. Might be able to pick him off. Nope. Tusk will go down. Smash taking a lot of damage. Run field pick off C4T there. Glimpse back. And that will save C4T for right now, but cost nobody his life. Smash will charge to chase down Greg here. Uh, if he gets out of the range of the tower, he can probably look to trade. This quick howl came out. Uh, from Smash, however, he is able to finish off Greg before he goes down. And one less right click from Tava will finish off Smash. So a quick 2 for 2 coming out. Um, but that was a killing spree going the way of the Nature's Prophet. So a lot of gold going his way. M God back in the air. Masuka long range arrow coming in will miss that arrow. However, Ion Creep uh, dealing a lot of damage to Tavo for right now. Uh, Earthshaker will throw out that quick fissure. M God taking a lot of damage from those tower right clicks, and Nature's Wrath will finish off Nature's the tusk. Oh, well, that was about 600 gold going the way of T Show. Uh, that'll bring it a little bit back in their favor. We're sitting at about 4k advantage for Elite Wolves right now, six minutes in. Uh, not terrible, not the greatest though. We'll jump it over to net worth. I don't really care about the last hits anymore. Uh, so we're sitting at about 4k gold for the Outworld Devourer. 3.6 for the Starkseer. Nature's Prophet, about where you'd expect uh, at this 3k. However, this Lycan down here at 1.8 is having a pretty rough game now that he's died a second time. Only 30 last hits. Uh, hopefully he's able to get a little bit of farm in this top lane. Maybe they can pick off an early tower. That will really help boost him up. We'll see M God start to rotate back through. Uh, a couple TPs can come in and they can try to stop this push if they want. However, it will require some assistance. IWO and Smash will take out the tier 1 tower on the bottom lane. And now we'll see if they want to TP in to defend this top tier 1. Uh, 
Doesn't look like they care about this. They're just going to let this one go. M guy doing his best to delay things as much as possible. No TPs will come in, so they'll just give this one over to T Show. Suko coming in from the bottom lines. Uh, he's probably just going to look at farming in the creeps here. Maybe pick off somebody uh, that tries to run away by themselves. Maybe M God can spot that out for him. Pretty much all of Tisho is staring up top here. Looks like they want to push this through to the tier 2 tower. Uh, maybe get a bit of a trade. We'll see Smash and IWO move into the mid lane here. They'll look to trade for the mid tier 1 tower. M God will get himself caught out here. He throws out the quick snowball to a tree and should be able to get away. Glimpse up and this will be a dead M God. Zeus will be able to finish this one off momentarily. Now we see all of Elite Wolves starting the rotation up towards the top tier 2. Uh, they'll get here when the tower is about a third, eh, about half HP. We see his Outworld Devourer is invis here. He might be able to catch out this Disruptor before he can TP. Doesn't look like they'll actually catch anybody. He's just, just walking back. Everybody else just TP'd out. See drums come up for the Nature's Prophet, and I saw a medallion come up for the Lycan. I imagine we'll see this turn into this Bassy turn into a Vladimir's offering shortly. So for right now, we're 4 and 7 in the favor of Elite Wolves. Our World Devourer, about 1.3k ahead of the Snatures Prophet, who's just starting to jungle as best he can here. Went for the drums. Um, bit of a non-standard build for the Nature's Prophet, but we'll see what he wants to turn this into. Looks like it's going to be more of a right-clicky battle build for the Nature's Prophet. IWO just working on a nice stack of Ancients here, going for an early, early pipe to help deal with some of the Zeus damage coming out. And we'll see Tavao show up. Uh, he'll steal a couple Ancients there. Uh, he'll only get one of the two. Might be able to actually kill off IWO here. Looks like he'll just start the TP out. IWO will throw out a one quick anchor smash, finish things off. See a glimpse come out onto 4T there. That'll just cost 4T his life. Won't be able to finish off IWO. Nobody else in the area to uh, catch him out. Smash finishes up the mechanism in the meantime. Arcane Boots mech up for Smash already. 5k gold. Only 400 behind this Outworld Devourer. Smoke up from the side of Elite Wolves. Uh, they might run into the Zeus here if they cut through the mid lane here. Looks like they'll run into a Zeus and an Earthshaker. That'll be a nice easy kill for them. Smoke breaks. We'll see who they want to go for. Astral Imprisonment ready to go. I uh, actually went max level Astral. So the Astral up, nobody. They'll let the Zeus run away. Not uh, really worried about him getting away. And then we'll see Van rotate over, finish off that Zeus. Tavo and the Disruptor move in on to Masuko in the back lines there. We're able to finish off that Marana. So a quick two for one going out, going the way of Elite Wolves. And that'll be about 200 extra gold going the way of Elite Wolves. We see the Lycan up here working out pushing in. Looks like the rest of Elite Wolves is just going to stick around in the mid, take out this tier 1 tower. Uh, and we see Misuko rotate up to the top. Greg's just going to jungle it up a little bit, head on out of there. We'll see Smash move into the bottom lane to repel any sort of push coming out from Tavavo. And then we'll see C4T roll in with that cheeky cheeky glimpse. Uh, able to get there just in time, send Smash back to the mid lane. But plenty of assistance is in the area. IWO is here. That'll stop any sort of aggression coming out. They'll hunt for C4T. Won't be able to find anything. He's TPing out right now. Musuko off in the top lane. Uh, just dealing with some Lycan Wolves for right now. Smash just in the Radiant Jungle farming up. Um, might as well. Sitting on a thousand gold. We'll see if he goes for that Blink Dagger next or what his plan is. Uh, probably wants the Blink for a little bit of initiation. Get the jump onto that Nature's Prophet. Oh boy, Dyer's middle tower is under attack. M God sitting on 700 gold, brown boots, 
Uh, it could be the second set of arcane boots for the team. Tidehunter almost has that uh, pipe completed. Just missing the recipe at this point. We'll see a search for it. Oh, hoping to get a good ravage there. Won't find anything. Uh, Arano just misses that arrow. And then we'll see the glimpse come out on the van. Send him home. That'll pretty much save Arano's life there. We'll see Elite Wolves disengage after that failed uh, attempt there. In the meantime, Greg was able to take out that top tier one tower. Tavo moved in, working on to that tier three. And Van will catch out Tavo here. It should be a pretty easy kill for the Outworld Devourer. However, nobody's in the area. Sprout up, and a TP will fail from Tavo as Zuko moves in with that blind arrow. But pretty easy to figure out where the Nature's Prophet is in the middle of those woods. So that'll be a quick pick off going the way of Elite Wolves. Pretty happy about that one. IWO hunting the Lycan here. Uh, he will TP out. Uh, he won't go for the blind uh, Ravage. Would have missed anyway. Was a bit out of range. Oh, 11 for 5. We can see our Devourer about 2.4k ahead of the Lycan for right now. 1700 gold up on smash i think this will be the blink dagger coming out for him nobody and s4t just working on doing a little bit of d warding uh not really the most value century ward there only had about 20 seconds left on that observer ward but quick little 50 gold going away of the the uh, disruptor for that one i'll we'll actually see van uh, went for a Blink Dagger first. Normally not an item you see on Outworld Devourer. Uh, if he wants a little bit of positioning, he goes for a Force Staff normally. Maybe a Rod of Owie to slow down the enemy hero. But maybe he felt like he needed it to get into position this time around. Uh, he'll self Astral to avoid the Glimpse there. And actually avoids the Static Storm as well. They were pretty confident that that Glimpse was going to work. IWO has the Pipe of Insight completed. Just snooping around here, trying to find out anybody he can. Uh, they'll see the Zeus rotating through. We'll see if they pop the Ravage for the kill here. Um, Asuka moving in, not quite in range for that arrow just yet. They will pop the Ravage, really want to finish off the Zeus. Van will move in, get the quick kill onto the Zeus. Arrow will come out onto the Disruptor. This will be a quick Disruptor kill. Snowball forward from M-God will finish off the Disruptor. We'll see Van TP up to the bottom lane, try to stop this uh, push coming out from Greg and Tavo. And the Lycan just now completed his power treads. He did go for the Vlads and a Medallion first though, so not really the worst. A lot of times you just see Lycan skip the boots, they don't really care. Nobody in the area with Greg and Tavo here. They're still trying to take out this tier 1 tower. No rotations coming in from Elite Wolves besides Van here. Van not having any trouble at all, however. Smash will now TP in. Uh, look to give chase. Pretty much everybody from Tisho has TP'd out. Minus Tavo here, who is working on TPing right now. Uh, trying to get a gank onto IWO. Unfortunately, he is invis. So we'll see if M God can spot out Tavo here. Throws out the quick snowball. No one in position to help him. However, M God will just walk away. Not really too worried about that one. Quick Astro comes out from Van. Followed up by the arrow. Perfect timing. Needs one last right click. Can't get in range. Uh, they'll drop the Starfall. Need another right click. Still can't get it. Greg actually throws out the medallion onto the um, Tavo. They're trying to get him a little bit extra armor. That'll keep him alive. S4T probably going to be the casualty there. Nice, nice arrow coming out from Masuko. And he'll figure out the angles. Finish off the Disruptor. And that's a quick one for a nil. Going the way of Elite Wolves. We'll check the graphs again. Uh, when this update is going to be about 7.5k in advantage of Elite Wolves at the 16 minute mark of this game. 14 for 5. Suko just working on farming up here. Uh, won't really find anything. Van will move in on to Greg. Van will actually, or Greg will actually pop the Lycanol trying to run away. M God scouting him out. Throws out the snowball. 
eventually will chase him down. Won't get the stun on him, however. Greg should be able to run this one out. Uh, has the TP scroll ready to go. A little bit short on the mana. Sitting on 1,600 gold. We'll see what he's trying to complete. Smash and Van in the area. Uh, BKB up on Van. All he really gets is a Disruptor for that 10 second BKB charge. Not really the most ideal. Uh, and again, we see another non-int item coming up from the Outworld Devourer. Bit of an interesting skill build. Normally, you see a little bit of int build up for the OD. But it looks like he just really wanted survivability and positioning um, to get him some kills. And 8-0, you can't really blame him. Uh, he'll be in a nice position to pick up a sheep stick or something. Whatever he wants first. We'll see IWO TP2, the bottom lane, trying to catch out Tavao here. Has the Ravage ready to go, won't use it just yet. And looks like he'll just let Tavao. Uh, name's really tripping me up today here. M God Smash and Van will take out the tier 2 tower in the top lane. Uh, we'll see the rotations come out. Smash will head towards the mid lane. We see the Blink Dagger finally completed for IWO. He's got to be pretty happy about a pipe, arcane boots, and a blink dagger up on this Tidehunter 18 minutes in. Greg sitting on 2,000 gold. Just continuing to jungle. Still hasn't tried to do an early Roche. Uh, they do have two towers in the top lane, but 18 minutes in, you'd hope a Lycan lineup could have a few extra towers, especially with that Nature's Prophet to back him up. show just hunting for wards here they will find a nice observer ward uh, that was revealing a lot of their positioning information the reserve ward up at the top here is going to disappear they'll see Greg moving into the top lane give them a little bit of info but they won't really be able to do anything about that 1400 gold up on the nature's profit one for the ogre club probably gonna pick up a I mean it looks like he's gonna go for a BKB maybe he's going for an Aghanim scepter but you normally see the point booster first. In the meantime, the Elite Wolves got that Roshan done. They'll put the Aegis over on the Outworld Devourer. Uh, 2,200 gold up on him. He's saving for his first Mystic Staff. We'll see what he wants to turn it into. Uh, actually, he goes Ultimate Orb. Just doing whatever he feels like. Still could be a Sheep Stick. Uh, we're not going to see something like a Scotty coming up from him. I would not imagine. Uh, yeah, that's a UAM. So... Definitely not a Scotty, but it should be the Sheep Stick. Um, decided he wanted a little bit extra survivability. Only at 1400 HP, so can't really blame him for grabbing that ultimate orb first. In the meantime, we'll see T-Show pushing in on the top lane here. Uh, I imagine we'll see Elite Wolves grab this tier 2 tower on the bottom and start to head home. Uh, no TP scroll on Van. No TP scroll on Darkseer. However, IWO has a TP scroll and the Ravage ready to go. They'll quickly pick off the Disruptor to start things off here. Masuko in the back lines, uh, dealing as much damage as he can over on to Poe. Zeus will pop Thundergut's Wrath, blow him up instantly. Smash and Van going for Greg in the mid lane. He's a little too slippery with that Lycan form up, however. 3,000 gold up on him. He just bought something. Nope. We'll see what the Lycan wants to go for with this 3,400 gold. Uh, has plenty of options. Van won't get into range in time to throw out the Astral on to Tavo. He'll just head back to the top lane. The rest of Elite Wolves will head down the mid lane. Only half HP on this last remaining tier 2 tower for the side of T-Show. Greg and Tavo in the top lane here. Uh, Tavo is the one working on pushing up the lane for right now. Greg can head out of the jungle, help him out a little bit if he needs it. We'll see Smash pick up that Crimson Guard. will help deal with all these treants and the Lycan Wolves. See the pipe come up and we'll see Elite Wolves head high ground. Uh, they have the Aegis on to Van. And Musuko is defending up their top lane right now with that Starfall spam. See the BKB come out for the Lycan. That'll help him deal a little bit with the Ravage, I guess. 
It's not gonna help him versus the Outworld Devourer. Damage, Outworld Devourer pops the BKB, stuck in the Static Storm for right now. Gets one last right click out, that'll finish off the Disruptor. Van still alive. We'll see the Urn Chargers come out for him, that'll keep him nice and healthy. Tier 3 tower down to about half HP. Misuko doing a nice job defending the top lane. So we'll see Tavo head to the bottom lane here and begin the push on there. Elite Wolves out of creeps right now. We'll see a new creep wave arrive momentarily. Must be a gem up on Smash. They saw that Lycan Wolf right away. Tavo TP or blinked into the base there. Wasn't able to actually catch anybody. They'll start smacking at this tower. It takes them a quite a long time to actually kill towers here. None of these heroes really known for their right clicking abilities, especially with no int over on the side of Van. Uh, really just doesn't have a lot of right click damage. I don't know how they're getting through the backdrop protection here, but somehow it's not active. So I guess they just won't worry about that one. Uh, they'll finish off the tier 3 tower in the middle lane. And we'll see a nice blink forward. And followed up by a rabbit from IWO. That'll be the end of the Zeus. And a few last right clicks come out of Van, and that's a dead disruptor. So there should be a lane of racks here unless we see the buyback coming out from the Zeus. Doesn't have the gold. No buyback for the disruptor either. Unfortunately, Tavo not able to do his job. Uh, he's got a little bit of damage going the way of the top lane there. He did pick up that Egg and Scepter, so the Treants pop up in the top lane. However, Masuko is up here with that Starfall. That'll be um, a deep push for him. Greg tried to make a little bit of a play onto him, not able to make anything happen. Van will TP down to the bottom lane. Actually, that was Smash. TP's to the bottom lane. We see Van TP to the top lane. They will stop any sort of push that was coming out from T-Show. Well, one laner axe going the way of Elite Wolves for right now. Oh boy, Tyre's middle tower's denied. What are you gonna do now? Got it. Smash will now finish up the Blink Dagger. Uh, they want plenty of initiation. We'll see IWO sitting here on top of the Nature's Prophet. Van slowly working his way over. Blinks forward. Uh, we'll see if he can get in range for that. Astral has the vision. There's the Astral. And that'll be a dead Nature's Prophet in the mid lane here. They're able to finish off M God. They'll trade that Nature's Prophet for uh, the Tusk any day, every day, all day. And now we'll see the Sheeps that come out from the Outworld Devourer. Pretty happy about that one, I'm sure. And they'll pop the Moonlight Shadow and disengage. We'll see Tisho heading down, uh, trying to chase this Marana here. Smash will come in, so let's take this, boys. Uh, has the Blink Wall, um, Watch Jigger vacuum ready to go. Nice Blink forward from IWO. That'll be a dead disruptor, and they're able to finish off the Zeus on the back lines there. Van in the mid lane. Looks like they want to roll through the mid towards the bottom lane here. Trying to catch out nobody. He will blink out just in time. Vacuum not able to hit him. Oh, now we'll see Elite Wolves head into this bottom lane here. Van blinks forward. Doesn't find anybody lurking behind the barracks. Luckily with this Crimson Guard, they don't take too much tower from the Tier 3 tower here. Uh, they are able to finish off that tower. They go straight for the melee racks. I have a double wave of creeps. Uh, and we do have a full side of T-Show up. Uh, they don't really care about this. It looks like... Uh, did I just see... So Tranquil Boots come up from the Zeus. The Zeus having a really rough game. And now we'll see Elite Wolves just head up to the top lane looking to Mega Creep T-Show. T-Show trying to push in the best they can. They got that tier 3 tower dead up top. Uh, doesn't look like we'll see any TP responses coming up from Elite Wolves. They're happy to make the trade here. They have like four waves of creeps in the base. They'll just go for the Mega Creeps. They can give them that lane of racks. They don't really care about that. Nobody tries to make a play. Smash blinks forward. Gets a nice vacuum. Just harassing up T-Show for right now. Uh, not able to finish off the double anorax up top there. Uh, we'll see Greg move back in, almost going down to the right clicks coming out from Van. Smash back up, has the Guardian Greaves ready to go. Won't pop those just yet. We'll see the Zeus get picked off by a nice Walrus Punch. Van will drop the 
Sandy's Eclipse. That'll finish off the Disruptor and the Earthshaker. We see Zeus about to die back here. Uh, they actually run out of damage. They'll get away. Nice back wall comes out from Smash. There's another three kills. And that's the team up coming out from the side of Elite Wolves. Oh, we see about 25k gold advantage for Elite Wolves in the end. Nice 27-minute GG.